George Soros, Barack Obama, and Hillary Clinton coordinated an upset in the Vatican to topple preservationist Pope Benedict in February 2013, as per WikiLeaks messages. Pope Benedict turned into the primary pope to leave since Pope Gregory XII in 1415, and the first to do as such without anyone else activity since Pope Celestine V in 1294. Gloria.tv reports, however the gathering of Catholic pioneers refer to new confirmation revealed in messages discharged by WikiLeaks to guarantee the moderate Pope Benedict did not really leave without anyone else activity but rather was pushed out of the Vatican by an upset that the gathering of analysts are calling the Catholic Spring. Soros, Obama and Clinton utilized the United States conciliatory hardware, political muscle, and money-related influence to force, reward and coercion administration change in the Roman Catholic Church keeping in mind the end goal to supplant the moderate Benedict with the present Pope Francis, who has since turned into an improbable mouthpiece for the global left shocking Catholics around the globe. Presently the gathering of Catholic pioneers have sent a letter to President Trump asking him to dispatch an official examination concerning the exercises of George Soros, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and others, who they claim were associated with coordinating Catholic Spring that brought about their objective of administration change in the Vatican. The Catholic pioneers refer to eight particular inquiries they try to have addressed concerning presumed occasions that prompted the renunciation of Pope Benedict, the main ecclesiastical abandonment in 700 years. In particular, we have motivation to trust that a Vatican administration change was built by the Obama organization, say the candidates, in their January 20th letter to President Trump. We were frightened to find, their letter takes note of, that, Amid the third year of the main term of the Obama organization your past adversary, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and other government authorities with whom she related proposed a Catholic upset in which the last death of what was left of the Catholic Church in America would be figured it out. The letter incorporates connections to reports and news stories underscoring their cases. It initially guides thoughtfulness regarding the infamous Soros Clinton Podesta messages uncovered a year ago by WikiLeaks, in which Podesta and different progressives talked about administration change to evacuate what they portrayed as the medieval times fascism in the Catholic Church. With respect to Podesta messages being referred to, the New American detailed last October. Podesta, a long lasting Clinton consultant, associate and hand-picked top lobbyist for left-wing funder George Soros, uncovered in a 2011 email that he and different activists were attempting to impact a Catholic spring unrest inside the Catholic Church, an undeniable reference to the deplorable Middle Easterner spring upset sorted out that same year by the Obama-Clinton-Soros group that destabilized the Middle East and brought radical Islamist administrations and fear-based oppressor gatherings to control in the district. The Podesta email is a reaction to another Soros-supported radical, Sandy Newman, originator of the Dynamic Voices for Progress. Newman had kept in touch with Podesta looking for exhortation on the most ideal approach to plant the seeds of the upset in the Catholic Church, which he depicted as a medieval times, sick, tyranny. In their letter to President Trump, the gathering of Catholics pioneers state, roughly a year after this email dialogue which was never expected to be made open, we find that Pope Benedict XVI resigned under exceedingly bizarre conditions and was supplanted by a Pope whose clear mission is to give an otherworldly part to the radical ideological motivation of the universal left. The pontificate of Pope Francis has therefore raised doubt about its own particular authenticity on a huge number of events. We stay confused by the conduct of this ideologically charged Pope whose mission is by all accounts one of propelling common plans of the left instead of directing the Catholic Church in her consecrated mission, they say, communicating the contemplations of a huge number of Catholics around the globe shocked by Pope Francis' left-wing belief system. It is essentially not the correct part of a Pope to be associated with legislative issues to the point that he is thought to be the pioneer of the universal left. They proceed. In view of the majority of this, and wishing the best for our nation and additionally for Catholics around the world, 
we trust it to be the obligation of faithful and educated United States Catholics to request of you to approve an examination concerning the accompanying inquiries. To what end was the National Security Agency observing the meeting that chosen Pope Francis? What other secretive activities were completed by U.S. government agents concerning the acquiescence of Pope Benedict or the meeting that chose Pope Francis? Did U.S. government agents have contact with the Cardinal Daniels Mafia? International money-related exchanges with the Vatican were suspended amid the most recent couple of days before the acquiescence of Pope Benedict. Were any U.S. government offices engaged with this? Why were universal fiscal exchanges continued on February 12, 2013, the day after Benedict XVI declared his acquiescence? Was this unadulterated fortuitous event? What activities, assuming any, were really taken by John Podesta, Hillary Clinton, and others fixing to the Obama organization who were engaged with the dialogue proposing the instigating of a Catholic spring? What was the reason and nature of the mystery meeting between Vice President Joseph Biden and Pope Benedict XVI at the Vatican approximately June 3, 2011? What parts were played by George Soros and other worldwide lenders who might be right now dwelling in United States and area? The examination the gathering of Catholic pioneers is asking for if President Trump ought to hold any importance with something beyond Catholics? George Soros' capacity to co-select driving political figures to help his radical anticipates country states is outstanding, yet his capacity to compel administration change in the Catholic Church, an organization already through and vulnerable all things considered, brings up major issues about his potential for worldwide mayhem. The examination, and discipline, should start on the double.